Welcome to Christina Reads All Day if you are listening on the podcast and if you are here on YouTube, thanks for watching my YouTube channel, Christina All Day. I don't have a pretty book to share and hold because this book I'm reviewing today was a book I listened to while I walked. If you've been listening, you know I got my Fitbit on. I'm trying to do 10,000 steps a day. So while I was walking, I was listening to Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. I've heard about this book for years, but I never really listened to it because honestly, I didn't just start listening to books until recently. And this was a good one. So Trevor Noah, he is a funny guy. And I like his audiobook because you hear it in his words and you hear it in his accent, which is lovely to listen to. And when he speaks as other people, like when he's talking about his mom or his stepdad or um, his friends, he's using another accent and it's just entertaining. So this book was not what I expected. I honestly, I mean, even though it says like right on the cover that there's stories from his childhood in South Africa, I was thinking that after his childhood in South Africa, we were gonna hear more about how he moved to America and started his career and, and grew into that. That's not in the book. I was a little disappointed about that because I would have liked to hear that here. And maybe he's got, I think he's got other books. Maybe he's got another book where he talks about how he came out of poverty and moved to the United States and you know built this amazing career. I would have liked to hear that. However, this book was very entertaining. I mean, he tells some funny stories of things that happen. And after you hear this book and you hear the different things that he has been through, you almost like him more. Not just because he appears more likable after you hear him in this book. And again, I think it's a difference when you hear it versus when you read it, especially if it's something like this, like it's a memoir and the person reading it is themselves. So he's definitely more likable to me. I mean, he was likable before, but... I like him a little bit more now. And you're just so happy for him to have the success that he has. As a woman, it makes me a little sad to hear some of the stories about how women are treated in South Africa or how they were treated when he was growing up. I imagine they're still not treated the best because he's my age, he is 36, so it wasn't like it was that long ago when violence against women was just accepted and ignored. So that's frustrating to me. I wanna hear more about his mom. I even tweeted him, he hasn't gotten back to me yet. But his mom is still living in South Africa, still close to a man in proximity, not in a relationship, still close to a man who tried to kill her and who almost killed her. And I'm a little concerned about that. Like I would like to know why she is not living in the United States near you, Trevor. That has me a little unsettled. But I will say, some of the stories in this book are hilarious. Like, I was walking and I was laughing to myself. It's just, uh, it really, I mean, I guess he's a comedian, so he tells these stories brilliantly. And it was entertaining. Again, I was kind of expecting and hoping for a little bit more behind the scenes of the business and career climb. But... I guess if I would have just read what the book was about before I actually listened to it, I would have seen that wasn't in there. I give Born a Crime four out of five stars. You do find out why the book is called Born a Crime. Another thing I didn't know about him was that he was half black, half white. So his mom was black and his dad was white and that was illegal in South Africa at the time. I don't know if, he, if it still is illegal, but you weren't allowed to have any kind of relationship. You definitely weren't allowed to have a child. He was kind of kept in hiding a little bit because he was too light to be black and too dark to be white. So he kind of had to be hidden because he was literally a crime. So that's why the book is called Born a Crime. You find that out in chapter two. I also appreciated the history lesson of what was going on in South Africa before he was born and while he was a child and as he grew up. I feel like in the United States, you don't really learn about a lot about other countries. You don't really learn a lot about racism and different things that happened around the world, even in this own country. So I felt a little educated as I was being entertained by Trevor Noah. So Born a Crime, if you're looking for something fun and funny and light. And if you're a fan of Trevor Noah, then you're going to like this book just because you get to know about him a little bit more. One shocking thing 
I'll give this away. Not really a spoiler, you have to hear his story. He burnt a white man's house down. And to be in South Africa and not be white and burn a white man's house down, that's just so much worse than just burning a house down. And he tells the story of how it happened. He talks about the kind of child he was. And I mean, it's funny. And it's just like, I can't believe he burned a house down. There's just so many stories. There's one about Hitler, not Hitler from Germany, a different Hitler, and him not understanding why that name is significant when he was a child. There's just crazy stories. And I would love for Trevor Noah to do a follow-up and just go back to some of these places and some of these people that he talks about and be like, hey, Remember the time that happened? That would be hilarious. I would tune in for that. Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. I give it four out of five stars. If you haven't already, make sure you tap that subscribe button on the podcast or on the YouTube channel and keep up with everything I'm doing at ChristinaAllDay.com as well as at Christina All Day on social media. I will see you again very soon for another book review. 